Berliner with the Archaeological Conservancy here, and we're at another site. This is in central Virginia, and this is called the P.E. Soapstone Quarry Site. So it's a little hard to tell, but behind me, um, kind of here, here, and then further up here, are uh, several large piles of small to medium boulders. And all of these boulders are made of soapstone. And so Native Americans would quarry for soapstone. And this is generally during um, the late archaic and early woodland period and would use it to make vessels because it's a pretty soft stone. So it's a lot easier to carve than other types of materials. And so this is another example of the type of site that the Conservancy preserves, uh, these prehistoric quarry sites. Um, we have soapstone sites. We have jasper or church sites. Uh, also quartz and quartzite, uh, rhyolite, and numerous other types of materials that were being used by Native Americans in the eastern region. The Conservancy acquired this site in 2013, with many thanks to the previous owners, Hannah Burris and Hugh Whaley, who generously protected this site and agreed to sell it to the Archaeological Conservancy to ensure its long-term preservation. So much of what we know about the P.E. Soapstone Quarry site comes from the work of Jim Jordan, a professor at Longwood University who came out here and did some limited test excavations with students. And what they found was that the site probably dates to the late archaic period, so around 3000 BC to 1000 BC. And it's possible that all these various piles of soapstone boulders were some kind of stockpiling to use this material for creating vessels prior to the introduction or advent of ceramic technology in the region. Uh, but there's really a lot more to do at this site to try to understand how the soapstone was being used, where was it being transported, and um, what other features might be present here. So here's an example of one of the piles of these small to medium soapstone boulders. It's a little tough to see, of course. These are very well weathered with lots of leaf cover on them. So students working at the site mapped about 150 of these soapstone boulder piles roughly in a line along this drainage here which is quite a bit of material. So I'm happy to report that everything looks pretty quiet out here at the site. A site like this, which is completely wooded, has uh, somewhat fewer management or maintenance needs than a site that needs to be mowed regularly um, or maintained in some other similar annual format. But we still need to come out here and check on things, make sure that the piles of soapstone or um, also known as steatite are not disturbed and also that our boundaries are pretty well marked. You can see behind me um, this site butts up to several other properties that are um, part of a logging company's holdings and so just need to make sure that this parcel is um, well marked so we know where the boundaries are and make sure that nobody's been out here. Yeah.